Okay, I think we're live. I think we're doing okay. I'm gonna wait for everything to start working and I'm probably gonna cough in just a second. Jess, can you also get me some, uh, like just tissues, my box of tissues uh, from, the, from the bedroom? Okay, thank you. Hi everybody, I'm here, live plan with me. So exciting. I happened to glance in the comments as I was popping in and it is Daphne's birthday today. Happy birthday, Daphne. Hell yes, January birthdays. Mine's next week. I will not be planning a live plan with me on my birthday, though. That that would be weird because it's a Friday, for one, but aside from everything else. <laughs> anyway, I am here. I'm going to plan my week out. I have, oh my God, the shadow of this situation looks worse on the TV. I'm looking at my screen. It looks worse on the screen than it does on my planner, which is very strange to me. That is very trippy. Anyway, yes. Happy birthday, Daphne. Happy birthday, and hi, everybody. Um, so I'm planning my week out. Today is the playoffs game between the Niners and the Packers, and if you don't know, I live in Northern California, and we would like to watch the Niners game, so hopefully I can keep this shorter than usual. We shall see, although I made myself a mug of peach honey white tea. And then Jesse splashed a little bit of his birthday bourbon in it. I've been trying to avoid alcohol because of everything, all the medication I'm on. But I just decided why not have a little bit of bourbon. Not a lot. Not even a shot. Like half a shot of bourbon in my giant mug of tea. But that's all I'm drinking today. And I've been drinking water all day. So if I get a little wacky, that's why. But the goal is to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> How do I feel? Shitty. <laughs> Ooh, good morning from down under. Um... I, my foot was really hurting yesterday from being on it all day, trying to get stuff for the women's march, which was partly my fault. And I'm still feeling super twitchy and weird from the steroids. My doctor said I'll probably just keep feeling this way till the course finishes up at the um, little bit, not this week. I should be done with steroids a week from Monday. So hopefully by then I'll stop feeling quite so out of it, but I'm in a great mood. I ended my patron hangout on kind of a bummer note, but it was just telling a bummer story. Is my water too. Did you get my tissues? Couldn't find them. They're on. They, I think they fell off the side of my nightstand. Uh. Anyway, Jesse's being my manservant right now. Um, anyway, you guys. No, Georgia, not even your fault. I That story is an important one for me to tell. It's just about my sister and kidney transplant. I just, I want to reassure any patrons who are in here and all of you that I'm actually in a great mood today. I'm just feeling really weird and out of it. So all that to say, we're going to plan my week. Thank you for the tissues. Now I'm all prepared. I got bourbon. I got tissues. I got Gorby. I got stickers. I got washi. I got pens. I got all the things I need. I got plans. I got plans. We're good to go. So, um, all right. So what do I have? I have a Cricut Paper Co. kit. This is her like Cheshire. I think it's called what? Cheshire Collection. And I happen to have this left over and I love these colors. And her kits are one of the ones I buy on impulse when I go to planner events, when she's vending there. And I love her paper. I love her stickers. You guys have seen me playing with Cricut Paper Co. before. And once I plan with this, I will have used a Chrissy Ann Designs kit, a Simply Gilded kit, and a Cricut Paper Co. kit in this new planner for me. And so what we got? We got Simply Gilded. We got Chrissy. We have, this was just a regular style. This is like those Erin Condren stickers. And this is a Chrissy Ann Designs kit. And this is good because it's giving me kind of an idea of how these work in these planners. So that was kind of my goal was to try some things I already have and see how they work in this planner style that I haven't used in a while. If that makes any sense. It might, it might not. I grabbed some Simply Gilded washies that match this kit. I love these colors. This is that one Go Wild washi that everybody was paying a kabillion dollars for. And Jesse's probably going to tell me like, you're using the kids' college fund, Cindy. But whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the Cricut Paper Co. Cheshire Collection Kit, Cricut Paper Co. And so it looks very similar. Like it has the colors and the eye. You look at this, there's this one like right here, but for the most part, it's just kind of reminiscent of the Cheshire Cat, who I love. The Cheshire, I used to have a little porcelain Cheshire Cat from the cartoon of... of uh, Alice in Wonderland, and it was some shit. So I wanna look at this really quick though and just kind of glance at what I did here and what I liked about this. I loved having this at the bottom, my um, my pill schedule, and I need to do the same thing this week because I'm still on the prednisone. So I like that. 
I like having the blood pressure here, and I think I'm gonna be moving it eventually, but I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. And I liked having them, I liked where everything was, so I may wind up kind of keeping things similar. I don't know yet. I wanna use a weekend sticker too. I haven't used, did I use a weekend sticker? Yeah, I used one here. I wanna use a weekend sticker again, I think. Anyway, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm all over the place. It's because I am all over the place. Okay, you guys got snow. We have had rain. Not as much rain as I had hoped for, but rain. It's very gloomy outside right now. Nice, Pamela. Use your shit. Uh, Jessica, I'm feeling, I'm feeling twitchy. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. I stayed off my feet today, but I got 10 day steps four days this week, and that's not good. That's why my foot's been hurting more. So I'm trying to today to take it a little bit easier. Now that the women's march is over, I think I'll have a little bit more of an opportunity to not squish myself quite so bad. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with these washies, these washi strips, stramps. And put them along the bottom. Now I know I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm not like in the mood for like, I've been covering the bottom up with washi quite a bit. I'm not really like in the sweet, sweet mood for, oh, I'm covering up where that blood pressure was though, huh? I could go lower. Do I wanna go lower? I'm gonna go lower. Low, low. No, I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna be more experimental. Let's be experimental, Cindy. Let's, that, no, actually it's not quite big enough to cover it up. Okay, so I'm not gonna cover it up. <laughs> Also, the great thing about Cricut Paper Co. stickers, they are extremely removable, which I have always appreciated. Yeah, that, that works. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that situation. I still need to cover this up, but we're, we'll get to that. Um, what am I drinking today? It's from Target. Kat got this tea that they wanted. It's a peach white tea, peach honey white tea, something like that with a splash of honey and a splash of, what is it, Woodford? It's Woodford Reserve. Woodford bourbon. Reserve bourbon. That was Jesse's birthday bourbon. Just a splash, not too much. Just a, just, just a skosh, just a skosh of bourbon for this chilly winter day. Yeah, I love these colors. These colors are sexy. They are not colors I generally gravitate towards in my planner. I tend to go for a, a pastel aesthetic, and this is most definitely not a pastel aesthetic but I love them, they're beautiful. They're sensual, sensual colors. Lovely, okay. So it's a hot toddy, I guess so. <laughs> and then, which one of these do I want? I want to run some washi, some washi across the top. I like, I like having that washi across the top to cover up this like rounded box that I don't really give a shit about. Maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use the hallowed go wild washi. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, I gotta see how big these stickers are. Hold up, hold up, hold on, hold on for one more day. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye, say goodbye. Okay, we're good. Whoa, what happened to my screen? That was trippy. I just glanced up and saw that. That was weird. White hot chocolate chai tea. God, that sounds really good. Where did, did you make that or did you get that from somewhere? Because that sounds tasty. Is this straight? I think so. That was trippy. That was like Inagata De Vida in my, in my, I feel like this purple is not the right purple. No, it's the right purple. No, it's not the right purple. Is this the right purple? Before I get too like down this rabbit hole. Or should I go with, should I go with something a little bit less purple? 
I'm gonna go with something a little bit less purple. I don't think I want this one for this particular job. I'll set that to the side so I don't waste the one million dollar washi, but I'll use this one. We'll use the scaly washi that I actually love, 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 love. I love this one a lot. No, I don't like that one either. All these colors look nice, but not for what I want. You are enjoying a peach white tea into your four-year-old spin it? That's rude. Rudeness. We'll go with this one. This one's good. Okay, this is the one I want. This is the vibe I'm going for. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to use any of these washies elsewhere. I'm just saying I'm looking for a specific flavor. And sometimes you don't choose the flavorful life. The flavorful life chooses you. And this is the flavor I'm going for, is this speed. <laughs> you know? Oh, yay. Thank you. Happy birthday to you too, Planner Heart. That is amazing. Both your birthday and your generosity. I sound like I'm an infomercial. Would you like to buy a sham wow? <laughs> Oh my God, I think I actually got that right on the first, that wasn't the first try. Don't fucking, don't fool yourself, Cindy. Okay, that's I think the aesthetic I want. And I like the bow too. I think the bow actually kind of ties in with all these stickers, so cool. We're in, a, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. I think this washi came in the Christmas advent. I don't remember. I'm, I'm drinking out of my today I will manifest some cool ass shit mug, but I wasn't actually planning on manifesting any cool ass shit except for maybe manifesting my ass some garlic bread with my dinner tonight. I don't have to manifest too hard. It's in my freezer. <laughs> That's the litter robot in case you were wondering, you know, it's just cycling because one of the cats had to deuce, I'm assuming. Didn't smell like a deuce. It smelled like a pee pee. I'm sorry. This is not necessarily the uh, conversation we should be having right now, but I have found myself remarkably fascinated with my cat's uh, bathroom habits since we got the litter robot. So there's that. <laughs> Exactly, Aaron. Freezers are for garlic bread, not for freezer meals. <laughs> did I like the Simply Gilded 12 Days box? I did. Um, there were a couple of items in it that I was not, they weren't like necessarily things I gave that much of a shit about, but my kid. See, I, some people are like, I can't, they don't do the subscription box for Simply Gilded because some of the items are just not their thing or they have a bunch of things they don't use. I'm lucky in the sense that my 16 year old also adores the aesthetic of Simply Gilded. And so I can, and they love all the little, they don't give a shit about the washi tape or the stickers, but they love the little like tchotchke doodads and like notebooks and little squishy pouches and shit that come in the box. And so I said, come. <laughs> um, so where did I put those tweezers? I lost them. Oh no. Oh wait, they're there. Um, so generally speaking, if there's something I'm not going to use or I don't like, it's just not my thing. My kid is all over that shit. So the things I didn't so much, like the things that were just not so much for me, Kat took and was very happy with. So I'm not even using the tweezers. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, so there's that. But the washi tape, oh shit. And the stickers that were in it beautiful. And I loved that it wasn't Christmas themed. I loved that it was not like a seasonal box. Like it wasn't something that like you had to just use in December. I love that it was stuff that I could use all the time. I really appreciate that for my first experience with like any sort of planner, advent calendar, planner, Christmas box, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like it wasn't religious. It, w it wasn't religious and it wasn't seasonal. It was just pretty. And I I'm down for that shit. So that's, there's that. So that's my review. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Kat, just as I find them. 
Kat's the one who sent me the tweezers. Kat's fucking amazing. Kat sent me the tweezers. Kat sent me the Tombow Whiteout. Kat watches me struggle. Cat, not my cat, but Cat Decker watches me struggle on YouTube and is like, this will solve your problem. And you have been right every time. So I bow down to your superior knowledge, Cat. You are the wind beneath my wings. They don't do a lot of red, simply gild it. Jessica, I can think of one. I mean, there's been some in some of the washies that come out, like the sets, but when it comes to the boxes, there is like one specific box I can I can like picture in my head that had a lot of red in it. And it was one that was like a black gold kind of red situation. But I know that red is not generally the color scheme of Simply Gilded choice, I don't think. So there's that. If, you're, if you love red in your things, then that's not the subscription box for you. I have noticed a lot of red in some of the Planner Society kits, depending on the kit. There have been quite a few that have had some red in them, but I don't have a lot of experience with other kits because generally speaking, I don't want a lot of kits because I don't want a lot of shit. I don't want kit shit, no matter how beautiful it is, because it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So I, I'm not, I'm not the, uh, I'm sure, you know, I wonder if there's like a, a channel that only reviews planner subscription boxes, because that would be, that's a niche right there. A small niche, a micro niche, if you will, but a niche nonetheless. How many times can I say niche? I have already been streaming for almost 20 minutes and I have not even started my actual plans yet. Things are not looking good for kickoff at 3.40. We need to get going. One of my patrons, Lisa, she predicted I would be done 32 minutes after kickoff. So at 4.12, Jesse, doesn't think I'm going to finish anywhere near on time. So I'm going to prove his ass wrong because nothing motivates me like spite. Jesse's nodding. He knows this. <laughs> That's my girl. If I get spiteful, if I get spiteful, I like, uh, remember the whole, I was talking about the four tendencies, Gretchen Rubin and all that when I was in the book club stream and I was talking about how I'm an obliger and I respond best to external expectations. That can be turned to also mean I respond great to being spiteful. You piss me off, you make me petty and I will move mountains to prove that I'm right. So I'm just saying it has gotten me to win many arguments in my marriage purely because I will not let go of my idea even if I'm completely wrong, which I never am, so. <laughs> Help with time conversion. How many minutes for kickoff for me right now? Um, 50, uh, that's not right. 51 minutes. Kickoff in California is three, and I, it's at home, so the game is in California. Um, 3.40 is the kickoff. So I think it's 50 minutes, right, Jess? Oh. Can I math? The kickoff is in 50 minutes, 5-0? Yeah, math checks out. Math checks out, okay. Good thing you are never wrong, or that would be very awkward. <laughs> Okay, so this is looking good so far. I love these purples. All right, these are all done. Now I need to take a second and get that. Speaking of cat, not not my kid, but my 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 cat Decker. My cat. That's your new name, my cat Decker. <laughs> the fuck did I put my what at? Why can't I find anything? Jesus, pleases. Okay, let me just wipe these out now while I'm thinking about it because these little hexagons. These are pieces of flair I did not need. If you go to office space and they talk about 37 pieces of flair, these little hexagons would be right on the vest of that guy who's like, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. These little hexagons would be on his vest. I'm just saying. Yeah, for those of you who don't give a shit about football, it's the NFC championships between the 49ers and the Packers. I'm rooting for the 49ers because I live in Northern California and I grew up in a, in a 49ers family. I don't give that much of a shit about football. And my ex-husband's a Packers fan, so I'm rooting for the Niners on that, on that, uh, on that note too. So, because I am, like I said, spiteful. So, <laughs> okay. So here is this tracker and this will be for meal plans because that's what I've been doing. And... Nothing says, 
nothing says me like predictable. <laughs> nope, I don't want that there. Why am I supposed to like the Packers? Because I do enjoy the fact that they wear cheese on their heads. Like the Packers fans wear cheese on their heads. I do enjoy that because I love cheese. Delicious cheese is my thing. But, dude, I grew up in North... My mom was one of those 49ers fans who had one of those uh, posters that had like those gigantic cover your entire fucking living room wall kind of posters that um, had every single team on it from like all of these years and my uh my grandpa was a for hardcore 49ers fan M every, you know like I just my dad was a Raiders fan I think to piss my mom off so if you want to know where the whole spiteful thing came from it was my dad uh, <laughs> so <laughs> my dad was also an Oakland A's fan and my mom's whole family is a um is a uh my mom's whole family is a San Francisco Giants, San Francisco 49ers kind of situation. So that is not going to fit there. Okay. Anyway, so, so you know now. You understand my background. I'm supposed to like Packers because I have subscribers who like them. When have I ever done what anybody tells me to do, Jessica? Let's just say that. Okay. I'm going to use the You're All Mad Here t-shirt in the corner for to cover up January, because why not? It's going to go here. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to do some lining. Are we? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, let's look. That looks nice. I think that looks nice. Am I right? I think I am. Because when I'm right, I'm right. And I'm right. How did I manage at the women's? I didn't march at the women's march, so that was part of it. I was getting the booth set up, and I was there for a while, and then I had to come back because we had other people volunteering, and I was going to come home and just lay down, and then I had to go back because there was a mishap with the the bag that rolls the canopy, and so I had to go grab something to help fix it and whatever. But I, st I was on my feet a lot on Friday and Saturday. It was just bad news. Ah. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Okay, so this is all done. And now I need to... I'm gonna take these to-do stickers and put them in my priority spot. And there's only six of them. So... What I think I'm gonna do is do no, there's seven of them. Hell yes. That is a plus in your favor, Cricut Paper Co. Kit. You have headers that are perfect for what I want to do. That say to do. To do, to do, to do. There's si there's seven. I missed one. There's one right here. <laughs> I just can't count. Did you ever know that you're fucking crooked it's okay pamela we all care about what your two-year-old has to say your two-year-old's adorable not as adorable as you are though i tend to think moms are cuter than babies and the reason being is because moms are often so frazzled looking that i identify with them because i also am a frazzled mom and my mom was like the ultimate frazzled mom my mom I knew I was in trouble. Her thing that she would yell at me because she didn't believe she didn't like cussing for all the things she could. She was a swinger. She had sex with all her friends and she, you know, smoked a lot of pot. But she didn't like us cussing. And so when she got really mad at us, she would yell, "God bless it!" at us. God bless it. And then when we would apologize for whatever it was we did, she would say, "Sorry doesn't cut it." Those are my mom's mad at us sayings. Hi, sweetheart. Hmm. You okay? I didn't want to babysit the cat. It's okay. We just needed him in there for a few minutes while Jesse was changing guitar strings. Mm -hmm. And I put him in the bedroom and somehow he got out. So I put him in your room because we just fixed your door. <laughs> abuse. Abuse of a kitty. We do not abuse our kitty. Don't, don't at me. 
like some YouTubers. Oh my god, I don't even want to fall down that rabbit hole. Actually, Twitch is worse, never mind. Yeah, okay. Why don't you not tell me these things? Because then I'm going to feel obligated to go look. And then I'm going <laughs> to hate it. And you know this. This always happens. So stop saying shit. Just find, tell me happy things. I love you. I, that's a happy thing. I love you too, sweetheart. This purple okay. is nice. Is, isn't this purple gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It's like a Cheshire Cat inspired kit. Has Kristen released the Go Wild kit for this year? No, not yet. They haven't released merch licenses yet, so mm -hmm. nobody's released Go Wild kits for this year yet. This is, I'm not Kristen anyway, this is Cricut Paper Co., but look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like. The Cheshire Cat? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say Gengar. Who's Gengar? Oh, he's a Pokemon, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can I steal your iPad? My parents were the hippiest hippies. My parents were absolutely the hippiest hippies. <laughs> Cat, who's your favorite Pokemon? If you can't think of one right off the bat, then you don't have one. No, I <laughs> I can't decide. I like Eevee. Cat likes Eevee. I like Magikarp because he's useless. And I like um, Snivy because, Snivy, stop. because it pisses RJ off when I call him Snivy instead of Snivy. So <laughs> Okay, you're like lurking over my shoulder and starting to stress me out. I love you. What, what are you trying to take, my iPad? I asked you. Did you? Yeah. It's on camera. I'll know whether or not you did. Okay. I, I did. Yes, you can, you can borrow my iPad. Thank you. Okay, don't fuck with it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna download Discord. Don't download anything on my iPad. I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Don't sarcasm me. You also have homework to do today, so you need to do some of that as well, okay? Weekend sticker. Okay. Okay. So you have the iPad for an hour, then you need to do some homework. Got it? Got it. Now. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Here is my, here's my week. You guys just got to hear an entire, she did ask me. Okay. Kat, you did ask me. God damn it. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I got my whole situation here laid in. I want to put a this week sticker from Chrissy and Design so I need to find that, which is going to be an interesting experience in here, question mark? No. I haven't relabeled my binders to figure out. I did some like, not organizing, but just putting things away and there's some things that are uh, not where I remember them being. So I think it's in here. Yes, this week I have pastels. Do I not have any brights? This is what happens when you don't, when you, you love pastels. You don't have any bright colors. These are brights, but they're not phone calls I have to make. We'll do the don't forget in pink. I think this will look nice. Yeah, that'll look nice. We'll do that. Okay. Bribery for homework is mom's second level. Yes. Yes, it is. And I mean, they have no school tomorrow, so they can do homework. And I did tell them on Friday that I wanted them to take some time to uh, not worry about homework and shit. And just, this since it's a three-day weekend, to spend a little bit of time relaxing. That was yesterday. So, <laughs> all right. So we have this. We're all set. And I want to put something for meal plans. I guess I don't need to, but I could. Uh... Or I could use this for my blood pressure and I could use these meal plan stickers here. <gasps> Let's do that. Yeah. Look at that. Who's that, who's that hoochie mama? You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. Hell yes. That was a cat. That was Loki. My challenge today is to be done in the next 40 minutes. That's my challenge today. I'm not, I'm not, um, 
I'm not going for anything uh, fancy. I may do um, a hot mess plan with me next weekend for the last one for plan as you go and make it a hot mess plan with me, but I'm not sure. This month was all about trying to like reacclimate myself to this style of planning. Okay, so this will be BP. This will be the BP, the BP. Right here, and then, so I'm gonna draw a line down the center and that will, that will like put that in the, the place, the place it needs to be. The place it needs to be. That sounds like a uh, jingle for like one of those, the more you know, after school special situations, you know. Now that's divided. That is so crooked. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do this. I'll divide it here too. And then it won't be so bad. <laughs> there we go. Not like those are straight or anything. <laughs> Gorby's right here. That's a good time to ah, go to DEFCON Brashev. <laughs> So I'm gonna put like a, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a, a, a situation across the top to camouflage the worst of that. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's camouflage this situation with this, this purple here. We're gonna go like this. That's not gonna camouflage it. I think this might be a lost cause of camouflaging. This might just have to look, wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna do the quirky heart solution. The sketchy line solution where you the sketchy lines make it look like you meant for it to look like that and the only people who know are all of my internet friends in this thing that just makes it worse god damn it i think i'm just the more i am doing to this the more i am wrecking this i feel like the three millimeter washi would go over it oh I have a hot pink, but it's gold. No! Hold on. Purple. And then I also wanted to grab another one. Hold up, while I'm up. While I'm up. Ah, it's stuck. No. All right. New sticker, new sticker. There's only one with the Monday through Friday. All the rest of them are checklists. I could replace it. Or I could put, or I could put washi tape on top. Hold on. Look. Hold on. I, I, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't leave a lot of room for blood pressure though. <laughs> but okay. What do we think? And I should put it down this side. Yeah. You're right, Jessica. Right here. Hold on. Lift this Hoochie Mama sticker up. I don't care about the white out. Small numbers. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm voting replace it too. This looks stupid. I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sticker. We tried. You tried. Let's go with a purple checkbox. <laughs> it looked creative, but it also was going to look awful, and I wasn't going to be able to read my, my, uh, my handwriting. Like, let's be honest. I don't write very well small. Watch, I'm going to have to write small here to put the days in here. M T W T. That's only six. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Okay. No, we're not going to. We're not going to have this. We're not going to have this. We're going to. We're going <laughs> to. Shit. There goes my timeline. My deadline is fast approaching. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just cut this dark one. Here we go. My little tiny extra stickers I bought. God damn it. We're going to change the DEF CON. Has I, have I ever gone to DEF CONs? in the course of one sticker getting laid down. Like, I mean, I know it's been more than one sticker, but one situation. Have I ever in my live plan with me hit two DEF CONs in one shitty, like, problem? Because if I haven't, today is now the day where I'm gonna have hit DEF CON, Brushev, and then DEF CON, Khrushchev in one situation. <laughs> God damn it, okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm not drawing any lines. I will draw individual lines as I go through this. There's Khrushchev. This poor nesting doll gets so beaten up during these live streams. <sighs> okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, let's move forward. <laughs> Do I shave candles with my fingernails? What does that even mean? I mean, I have lots of hangnails right now. Is that, do they just not look great? Is that the problem? Defcon bruschetta. <laughs> I gotta know. I have to know. Wait, I'm gonna Google this. We're gonna Google. We're gonna do some Googling, you guys. Controlling mental urges. Hold on. Do you shave candles with your fingernails? No, there's no answers in this in this Google search that answer my questions. Okay. Okay, well, if you're not a troll, Nicholas, it's pleasing. Okay, well, my nails are a wreck right now, so I don't know if I want to add anything more to it. Okay. Anyway, my timeline. Sorry, you guys are distracting me. I'm getting distracted by fingernails. Okay, let's get going. Weather. Weather and, and meal planning. Weather. And meal planning. I'm still using the pigeon letters monoliners. I have been truly enjoying them. They make me very happy. And I was with my patrons on a live stream earlier this week and they worked really well with watercolors. So they are water fast. It was supposed to rain this whole week when I saw the forecast earlier and now it's just a couple of days. Well, I'm only putting in through Thursday, but like that bums me out because I wanted more rain. You like sticking your fingers in hot candle wax? That sounds painful. Any updates on the book? 
Uh, I believe it is March 3rd is when it is going to be released. And I am actually doing, I'm having some conversations with the people from the publisher about the launch and everything. But, I mean, that's about all I got right now. Titans lost. Kansas City Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. Thanks for the update. Okay, warm wax I could handle, but cold, but hot wax just sounds painful. Um, and then uh, Perfin is in candle wax. Oh, well, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Um, I gotta get my meal plans and I'm getting distracted. Pork loin and crock pot. That's not right. Okay, crock pot. Pork. Loin. Tuesday I'm doing quesadillas. Wednesday I am doing um, chicken and bok choy. It's a Weight Watchers recipe. And I love bok choy. I will wax poetic. Just ask my patrons. I will wax poetic about bok choy because of how much I like it. And then I'm doing um, Instant Pot Ziti on... I've never done this recipe before either, and I know I was saving it for an Instant Pot month, but I, I kind of want it. So, And that's my meal planning so far. So meal planning weather is in through Thursday, and I will do the rest of it later in the week. All right. Um... Okay, yeah, microperm pens are what I use on the Chrissy Ann Design stickers for Michaels. This is, a Sakura microperm is basically my favorite pen to use on any glossy stickers, washi tapes, whatever. My second favorite is the Le Pen Permanent, and Sharpie Extra Fine markers work for me as well. So. The fuck is with all of the... Okay, anyway, whatever. Planning for perfection. Thank you for the super chat. Did I make the crock pot lasagna? I didn't eat it. My stomach was really upset that night. Jesse ate it and thought it was okay. RJ thought it was weird when he ate the leftovers the next day. So it was a... It was not a knock out of the park. So I think I might try it again, but I might adapt the recipe a little bit to include things that I use in my lasagnas because... Um, I like to make recipes the first time as straight as they're written, except if there's like onions or something, I'll replace things that I won't eat, but I don't like to fuck with them too much until I've tried them the first time and had an idea of what's going to happen. So I think it could use some adapting. I don't think it is terrible from what I understand. It just needs a little bit of massaging since that is actually the conversation going on in the comments right now. Okay. Oh, hi to your hubby, Jennifer, and hi to you. Can I use my same pens on the paper or only on the stickers? Um, only on the stickers. If you use them on the paper, they'll bleed. So I usually keep two pens with me whenever I'm planning. I keep my pen and I keep my sticker pen. And my sticker pen, sometimes I will accidentally write with and, and then I'm sad. But that's okay. I don't care that much if it bleeds. Like honestly, I have fucked my planner up so many ways that at this point, if I bleed through on every single thing I write, it probably wouldn't bother me that much because of how much I already like do to my planner. Okay, the week is ready for some actual plans. Let's get going. So, oh, I want to put my pill schedule in. That was the other thing I wanted to put in. I brought this hot pink, like skinny washi. So, because I, I think this will show up a little bit better than some of the Simply Gilded washies with the patterns that are a little busier. I feel like this might just, that's not going to show up though. It's not very opaque. Hmm. Maybe, the, maybe that's the go wild secret. Maybe this one will show up better because it is darker. Yeah, let's go with this one. Then I'm not wasting this piece. So I need to put my pill schedule down for the prednisone because I will not be done with it until a week from Monday and I don't want to lose my, my uh, place. Although the problem I'm going to run into is that I don't have any one half stickers and I'm taking a half dose, like a half pill later in the week. So I may have to do something different, but I have some ideas. So just give me a hot minute here. that's there and then I have an idea I have an idea 
Where did my other my washi tape go? There it is. Okay. So hear me out, folks. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna redeem myself for my various mishaps. Only one hot minute you're running out. Oh shit. Okay, I have 25 minutes and I haven't even put one actual plan besides my meal plans in the planner yet. This plan with me is a decorate with me so far. But that's a cop out. I gotta like actually get this done. Okay. Brrr. I need my functional, my functional stickers. Where are my functional stickers? Okay, we're gonna find them. Give me a second. Functional stickers, the continuum transfunctioner. Who's, who's, uh, power is only, is only, uh, something, something. Fuck this echo. The continuum transfunction whose mystery is only exceeded by its power. I'm gonna have fucking sticker binders all over the place from this bullshit. Okay, this is what I want. Now I need my pills. Where are my pill icons? In here? No. No. In here? No. In here? Yes. Found them. Okay. We're good. We're good. We got this. I found some stickers. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is... These stickers, which I never use anymore, because they were for the, hor the horizontal, which I'm not using, and they were for the old Aaron Condren, the old Aaron Condren layout. So I had all these stickers that I have all these stickers that are not sized for any of the planners I'm using. So isn't this a perfect opportunity to put some of them down? I think so. I think so. I think so. I'm just trying to use up some different colors here. You see what I'm saying? I'm using things. Things and stuff. And stuff. And I have a great variety of them. And the heater is on. Jess, will you go turn the heater off so it's not going in the background? It's not, I mean, I'm also sweating. I don't know if it's the prednisone or if I'm going it's through the- It's the prednisone. Okay, I'm like sweating like a fucking, like, God, the fucking phrase sweating like a pig really bothers me. How much do pigs really sweat? I'm not actually sure if pigs sweat. Like, I don't understand. The No, Lucy is not by me. The Loki is, generally speaking, a... Uh, has Loki been meowing? Somebody says they're hearing cat voice. And I don't know if if that's happening or not. No, Loki's been sleeping on my lap until I picked him up and threw him over my shoulder. He's in the wrong order. The okay. Pigs don't sweat? Oh, okay. What cat voice? What are you talking about? <laughs> what, Jesse? <laughs> Jesse's convinced I have like a special kitty voice. I don't have a special kitty voice. I talk to my cats like I talk to anybody else. Lies? That's not lies. <laughs> he said he was gonna catch me and record me. All right, there we go. Those look good, don't they? I think they look good. They look like they go there. I totally have a kitty. You guys are supposed to be on my side. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that is a situation right there. Hold up. Got it. <laughs> okay. Time to put my prednisone dosage. So it is, wait, one, 
one, one, one, one half, one half. No, I guess I'm done on Sunday. One half, one half. Okay. There's my prednisone dosage. So I will be done with it by the end of this week. Thank God. I'm just going to ignore everything you guys are saying. Okay. There's my prednisone dosage. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay. How's the gout? It hurts a lot. Have I noticed a difference pain wise? Yes. It's not constant. It just happens when I overdo it now. And I'm feeling a lot of pain on the side of my leg that I've been favoring. But the gouty pain right around the joint uh, surges more when I've been on my feet for a while, but it is better than it was. I can put a blanket on my foot as an example. Okay. Um, okay. So meals, everything. Let's get to my thing. So this day, Monday, uh, Jess and the kids are off, but I need to get some work done. So I am not planning on not working on Monday because... I'm not planning on being off on Monday because um, I got shit to do. So I'm going to put some of this washi tape down the side for their off day. And I know that Jesse's going to go to Pet to Petaluma tomorrow to um, get his guitar, uh, some stuff done with his guitar. And he's going to take the kids with him, which I love, because then I can get some work done. And they all will have a nice afternoon or whatever. But I do want to put down that they are off because they are. So we'll start with that. Veronica, prep yourself for the prednisone crash. Oh God, do I want to know? Yes, I want to know. What is the prednisone crash? As you decrease the dose, you start feeling more tired. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay, so Jesse and the kids are off on Monday. <sighs> Prednisone is a steroid. It's a um, anti-inflammatory. It's a it brings down inflammation. All right, so there's the kids are off that day. So Monday, what do I? Need? I have a lot of like little things. Like I don't have a lot of big things to get done on Monday. I've just got a lot of shit to do. Some posts to write the book club email. I have some emails for church to send. And I need to, um, I need to work on my stuff for Kristen and I need to set the crock pot that day for the pork loin. So I am going to Pinterest right now because I don't, I did not write down what time I have to start the crock pot. Pinterest. I didn't look close. I looked close enough at the recipe to grab the ingredients, but I did not look close enough at the recipe to grab the time. Slow cooker, pork tenderloin and gravy. Num, 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 num. And then I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. I should give you guys some updates on my doctor's appointment. And I will do that. My patrons just got these updates, but everybody else, I don't want to sear it. I hate doing that. That's such a fucking pain in the ass. I guess I could do it in the Instant Pot. I've never done that before. Maybe I'll do it in the Instant Pot. But I usually use the Instant Pot for mashed potatoes. Hmm. Decisions. Low six to eight hours. Okay. We'll go with that. 10. 10 a.m. Crockpot 10 a.m. for eight hours on low. All right. Hi, Abby. Okay, so we'll do 10 a.m. So I'm gonna put that on my to-do list so I don't forget my crock pot. My crock, my crock, my crock pout. That's weird. <laughs> I think I have some Crock-Pot stickers in here. Question mark? I have all these. These are my, like, a lot of my really older Christiane Design stickers from, like, hella days ago. Nope, they're not in here. Where is my Crock-Pot stickers? Are they in one of these binders I already pulled out? Probably... You would think I would know this by now, but I don't. All right, here we go. Crock pot. Okay. 
Okay. Time. Oh, fuck. 14 minutes. It's like 10 a.m. Okay. Oh, a troll? Shit! Sorry. Okay. If you guys are not on the live chat, if you're only on the top chat, you may not see the trolls. Okay. So we have that. And then I have the posts I have to do. And the, the email I have to send to our administrator is actually like the number one thing I have to do in the morning. But I'm going to do a little, like, I have a couple of emails I have to send. So I'm going to actually do this. No. I'll do that different. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Um... I'll do a little laptop for the administrator email. I'm actually gonna put, uh, blur, blurb to Mary Ellen, and then my um, cans, no, what, no, what? I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm starting to lose it, you guys. My brain is going off track. Podcast post, that's the other thing I wanted to do. That's a top priority. So we'll use a little Steve, a little podcast Steve, and we'll do a podcast post. So I don't forget to do it like I always do. All right, so there's my to-dos for that, my top to-dos for that day. And then, uh, Um, and then I have some more emails and things and posts to do. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take this pink sticker and I'm going to set it up here and I'll just put down book club email. And my patron post. And... because I do have to go through that because it's weeping at me right now. Okay, and then the other stuff for Monday that I need to work on is my stuff for Kristen. Pretty, pretty hardcore. So I'm going to just letter that nice and big. But I'm going to leave a little bit of space. And if anything happens between now and tomorrow, then I'll put it on my planner tomorrow when I do my plan as you go. P.S. The video that's going up tomorrow is the one I tried to film a couple weeks ago when I was freshly gouty and everything was out of focus and I just trashed all the, the footage. I'm very excited about it. You think you're going to like it. So make sure you watch, subscribe, hit the like button and all the things. Okay. Um, okay, uh, Tuesday, we got this. 10, 11 minutes, we got this. Tuesday, Skillshare, because I really want my class to publish this coming up weekend. So I have to work on it. So Skillshare all day. I have a couple of orders I need to pack and get to the store, and I need to call the trash people and see if I can get some more cans. In Napa, you can get, you pay for how big your trash can is, and we have a small one, but you can get as like a certain amount of recycling and compost bins just for free. And we are at the point now where we would like to get another recycling and another compost bin. Call, and I don't think they're gonna be open on Monday. Cans. So we need to get more, 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 more cans, more cans. And then the orders need to get packed out. So I will use this little box for orders. Actually, that's, yeah, we'll do that, whatever. And then I am going to take one of these full boxes. Which one? I don't fucking know. Uh, we'll take this one and slap it smack in the middle of the day 
to indicate that I'm gonna be working on Skillshare all day. I've got various tasks, they're all on my Kanban board, so I'm not gonna elaborate on what exactly I'm doing as much as I'm just gonna say I'm doing lots, lots of things. And I will take one of these and just put it across the top to indicate this is a Skillshare kind of day, and that'll fill that whole box up. And that is the thing to do for me right now. Why? I don't fucking know. It's just what I'm deciding to do right now. Don't, don't question, don't question me. I guess you can question me. I'm not an authoritarian. I mean, I guess maybe sometimes I am, but it's not like I, it's not like I am a dictator. Unless I, Jess, am I an authoritarian? Huh? Am I an authoritarian? No. Nesting dolls notwithstanding? <laughs> My way or the highway. Okay. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Hillary. Ooh, there's a sticker in it. That's weird and cool. Awesome. Okay, so that's my nice, my full Skillshare day. And then what was the other things I had on my list? The cans, the orders. And then there's an action that night that I was supposed to go to in the other town, like to hold the uh, city council accountable. But uh, I told, I don't want to, like they were going to try and have me carpool, which I was fine with until this gout thing happened. And now I'm kind of like, question mark. So... I'm gonna put one of these stickers across the top and I'm gonna put question mark action because either way I need to like figure out that morning, am I going? I don't think they're car having me carpool anymore. I'm pretty sure they figured out that I was not feeling good so I'm not reliable so they shouldn't depend on me for a carpool because of my gout. But I'm just gonna put question mark and then the action and because these are renewable, reusable stickers, I will come back to that on Tuesday. All right. So, Wednesday, moving like I got a purpose. Wednesday, the kids have a half day, as usual. I need to film my video for the, oh, the other thing I wanted to do on Monday was to research my, I'll write that in too. Research Monday video. That's also on that list. Okay, I wanna film my Monday video because I will have fresh hair on Monday. And, um, and I have a post for my patrons. So those will be the things on my to-do list. And I may add another one that day. I don't know yet. So I'm going to use Instagram because it's about, it's the challenges for next month. My patrons get a sneak peek at that. And then we'll use this sticker for filming. I'm not using any munchkins in this video so far. Huh. And then... All right, challenges, sneak peek, film Monday video. Those are the two things for sure. And then I need to work more on my shit for Kristen and I'd like to paint on Monday. So I'm gonna put a scalloped box, question mark. Yes, a scalloped box. Tick tock, I know, six minutes, we're going. This will go here. Do, 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 do. Ah, there's no Stalin in here. Stalin! The six minute warning gets Yosef Stalin. Aw, thank you, Planner Heart. Okay, so this will be for uh, paint. And then, because I would like to, and then I'm gonna put KAD list again because that's what I wanna work on. I wonder if it would be inside baseball to letter KAD list and then have Kristen make me stickers of my lettering telling me to make lettering for her stickers. Is that weird? Maybe. Okay. The rest of this I'm leaving alone because we're not there yet. Thursday is going to be another Skillshare all day to get this class out by Saturday. So we're going to take another sticker and this one is, an, is a camera sticker with Instax on it. We'll go with this one. And we're gonna do it again. This is gonna be a very repetitive spread. We're repeating a lot. And, and it's not just because I'm running out of time. It is also because I think this is kind of a cool look, especially for a week where I've got a bunch of things repeating. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yes. 
<clears throat> I should do it. All right, so we'll do it again. Skillshare. There's Skillshare. <clears throat> and then um, what I have on Thursday besides the Skillshare, my patrons have a Facebook Live that day and I need to meal plan because I'm going to have to feed us at some point in my life. Meal plan, meal plans of genius. What? No. Okay. Uh, We'll use this little TV sticker for Patron Live. And then, And then we'll use this purple little crock pot. No. Yes, we'll use this purple. No, we'll use pink. We'll use a pink little crock pot for meal planning. Maybe, yeah. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? How we doing? TikTok. Oh fuck! Two minutes. I'm not gonna make it. The anthem wrapped up. We're almost at kickoff. Shit fire. Okay. Anything else on Thursday? Or was that everything? That was everything for Thursday. Friday, I have to record a podcast, schedule the following week, and inbox zero. And that was all I put on Friday, which is amazing. So, we'll do the computer. These are for my usual, my usual Friday tasks, so I'm just gonna list them underneath because I have a lot of things I do. Friday is one of the few <laughs> days of the week I actually maintain sort of a routine with my work. There's my podcast. That's everything I had on Friday's list, which is actually pretty amazing. I think I was leaving it open. Saturday has my book club live, and I need to wash my sheets and probably go grocery shopping. So we'll use a coffee cup for book club. There's a book. I'll use a book for book club. <laughs> a book for book club and a washing machine for washing my sheets. As far as I know, I have no reason to move it, unlike the last two weeks. And that was everything for Saturday on my list. My list is pretty short at the end of the week. And then um, Sunday, live plan with me in a hangout, and it's also the day we have decreed to be Loki's birthday. So, um, so to do, I will put my hangout And my live plan with me will go here. And maybe what I'll do is do a full, a full creepy Cheshire Cat Man. I can stop rushing. They kicked off. Well, it's okay. I'm almost done. Um, so at least I'll make it 
to start watching Generally Speaking, because I'm actually pretty much almost done anyway. God damn it, so close. So close. And we'll put right here. Oops. But at least I can take the time to make sure my stickers are straight. But this does remind me, on Saturday I need to go grocery shopping, so I should put that on there too. We'll take one of these. Actually, it's probably gonna be, well, here, we'll do this guy right up here. Saturday. Crooked? Of course it is. Now that I'm slowing down, it gets crooked. The last full box sticker is supposed to be the Cheshire Cat, I'm pretty sure. Like from not not the, uh, I don't think it's the Cheshire Cat from like the live action. I think it's the Cheshire Cat from the original like 1950s or whatever it was, Disney movie. The one who was voiced by Winnie the Pooh. I mean, I know he has a name. I think Sterling Holloway was the name. If I remembered that, if I was correct, that's fucking amazing, by the way. Okay, grocery shop on Saturday. And then there's a few things I need to put on my to-do list for this week that haven't like quite made it to my bullet journal yet, but I do want to get them on this. Don't forget, I need to make some appointments for cat. I need to do some things for cat, so I need to cat eye doctor and cat pharmacy at this prescription to pick up. Both of those things for this week. What else did I have on my list? There's a couple other things for sure. Um, the order of service email, nominating committee shit. I have some research to do for the nominating committee and I have a bunch of a stack of church paperwork on my desk to go through for that research. Um, the sports ball is off to an athletic, an athletic start. <laughs> yes, that is, de that is Jesse typing. Um, and then, oh, we have to make Lucy's vet appointment. And since Jesse is taking some time off, I think the following week, that'll be the time to make it for. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you're taking off starting next Friday, right? Not this coming up Friday, but the following Friday? My birthday? birthday. Yes. Birthday. So we may want to make uh, Lucy's vet appointment for that day to go get his shots. Um, he's already been debollified. Um, was there something else? Oh, and I got to turn in my can my reimbursement for the canopy. Receipt. Yeah, I think that's everything that off of that. I mean, I'll add more, but that's everything I've got for right now. All right. I think this is it. You guys, I think I'm going to leave it here and you know, you think, oh, Cindy, it's so blank at the end of the week. That's a good thing. That means I have space to actually do some of the shit I need to do as opposed to having a jam-packed week to start and not be able to get my shit done. And considering I want to get the Skillshare up on Saturday, having a little extra room means I might actually get it done. So hopefully. I love these colors. These are not my usual colors, but they are gorgeous and I love them. And so, so far I've got these colors, which are not really my colors, but I think they're pretty. These colors, which are absolutely my colors. These colors, which are so much my colors, I might as well be married to them. And then these colors, which are bright, but I just love being all flip. There's something very like fun. I'm gonna finish my bourbon tea. Which is cold now. And pull out Lennon in order of the sports ball. Anyway, you guys have fun storming the sports ball. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you so much for everything. Don't forget to like this on your way out the door and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Hasta la vista, guys.